Jojo, what up guys, it's your boy Amy you already know, we're now going to play some evolution, this is probably going to be the last episode, so before anything I want to thank you guys for watching, being an awesome audience, though not all of you have been able to watch, which is a shame because definitely missing out there, it's still it's still a good feeling to have people watch this. I'm truly appreciative. As Rock Launcher. Hey, yeah. I thought I would just talk to all the people before I continued. It's kind of like an appropriate ending, I think. Yeah, she says the same thing. <laughs> this Miss Melon says the same thing as before. But she kind of gives a little hint towards what happens in the second game. So if you were interested in the second game at all, then right there is a little hint. Ah, uh, stop lagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says the same things. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to, come on, I'm trying to talk to this guy. Grant. Grant the Nasty. This guy seems like he talks with experience. Yeah, you can check out almost all the all the dialogue changes after you go and advance the story but unfortunately I didn't show off all of that mm, I guess I didn't have the time to do it but you can definitely check it out whenever you can, whenever you want really let me turn this down I can't even hear myself think with this loud loud volume it's a problem with, with can I talk with a headphone can I talk with a headset because <clears throat> you think that you'd be loud enough, but no, you can't even hear yourself. I'm, I don't even know half the things I said up till now. I literally can't hear myself out loud. Oh well, that will get fixed later. Let's see what's over here. Alright, let's listen to Auntie's stories. I've always tried to relate her to some Barbara that I know, and the only Barbara that I really know is Barbara from the Romance and Saga games. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna forget. Man. There's really not a lot to do. This is the end of the game, so... I'm trying to see what else I can do to kind of bide my time, but nothing else. I can't do anything. So I have only one dollar left to pay off in debt, and you don't know how long it took me to do this, but I had to <laughs> pretty much hold up. I pretty much gave everyone gave everyone like five slots because I found mad upgrade kits. I actually sold off a whole bunch, I had a lot of them, and I had to sell them off because, of course, these three are the ones who ever wield side frames, so I don't need to give more than five, five is the maximum, of course. So here I have hand parts, hammer parts, spray parts, recovery hand parts, and moving hand parts. And so you couldn't read it, but yeah, he also gets rock parts, flame hand parts, ice parts, landing hand parts. And the steel parts, I think there are a few more, just a very, very few more, but yeah, I'm not sure, I would have to look at the list. Yeah, here are the, um, the number of booster items that I've gotten, attack booster 84 is like really, really nice. Well, I don't have to max him out because I already maxed out all his stuff, but now Chain, on the other hand, is a different story, she might have some different stuff. And and also at the same time, this girl, Pepper, might also be a different story. You just never know. Well, let's check out Chain and see what she's got maxed out. Oh, she's got 
pretty much everything maxed out. Hmm. Okay. I see one at level two here. I'm gonna check out who that is in a second. It can only be Pepper. Let's see. She's so got energy parts. Okay. Yep. Ice carts parts. Ice carts parts. Did I say it right? Ice cart parts two. Originally this was just called ice cart parts, just no 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 numbering afterwards. It's kind of like I found this the weirdest thing ever because you know usually they have a level and then number afterwards, but no, it's kind of strange. This one doesn't for whatever reason. So I'm just gonna level it up. Did all the calculations and the expenses came out to be twelve thousand. And you want me to explain to you the how it works, the entire system for the uh, so the, the calculation of money pretty much for the parts actually very simple let me explain to you after this you don't even know how long this took <laughs> honestly this took a very very long time to get everything maxed out and to pay off the debt very long time but unfortunately for you guys I skipped a scene well not that I skipped it but there's Actually, you get something for, I guess I'm going to link it after the video, or no, so I like it before. Well, I'll let you know when I'm going to link it, alright, but there's, you get two things. The first time when you pay off the debt before you get the extra debt added on to your initial debt, alright, you get an item for paying off all of that, and it's actually an attack booster. I think it's an attack booster of 72, which is kind of like subpar when you get attack boosters such as 81, 84, and what's she have, 75. So I think you can find an attack booster 90 something in a dungeon, but you have to search for a long time for that. You know, it's funny, I sold a lot of weapons, a lot of them that are actually better for me, but I sold them because I didn't care. Since this is going to be the last episode, this is not my main file anyway. So this was all for the purpose of paying things off here. And actually the way what I wanted to explain before I forget is how the money is calculated actually for what you call it paint uh, upgrading your weapons yeah so there are three forms as I like to call my uh, there's form one form two and form three form one is what you just saw actually it was the, the one where level one I um, put a picture here of this thing that I actually just made a little tiny tiny explanation here on this envelope here maybe you can make sense out of it I mean I can explain it I'm gonna try but I'm hoping you can make sense out of it and follow along but see how I've written that form one has a level one then like an empty dash you can actually need to change this from level one to level five doesn't matter anyway level one you come at level one nothing you don't pay for it then level two is a thousand bucks Level 3 is 2,000 bucks. Level 4 is 4,000. Level 5 is 6,000. So that's a grand total of $13,000 you're paying. So at the top there, I wrote Ice Blade Parts. That's actually just like an example. These are all chain moves. All of Chain's parts, I just put them here as an example because Chain's, I love Chain. So Ice Blade Parts, God, I can't S this today. Ice Blade Parts, Form 1. That's the formula that follows. So you only have to pay thirteen thousand total for maxing out anything that has and follows the form one formula. God, what a mouthful! Then form two, as you can see, is from jet parts. This is an example I took from this girl chain again. All right, level one standard. Level two is fifteen hundred dollars. Level three is three thousand. For six thousand five nine thousand for a grand total of nineteen thousand five hundred dollars to pay off. Now, like I said before, level one and level five are interchangeable. It doesn't matter. You could put level one at fifteen hundred and then go the way to nine thousand. Level five will be that dash, or you could do it this way. Either way, you're paying the same amount. I like to do it this way because I like to believe that when you get to level five, that's where you're really paying for it. Not that you stop at level five. I don't know. You can see however way you see fit. Anyway. That's jet parts, form 2. And lastly, form 3, as I've chosen for saucer parts, is of course another one of Chain's uh, ciphering parts. Level 1, standard. Level 2 comes at $2,000. See, a lot more expensive than the rest. Actually, double of form 1. It's actually exactly everything, double of form 1. 
and form 2 is 1.5 so anyway level 2 is 2,000 level 3 is 4,000 bucks level 4 is $8,000 and level 5 is 12,000 smackaroos now that's ridiculous 12,000 a lot of the side frame parts actually feature this form 3 such as all of the pretty much all the major parts like the hand parts hammer parts and all that like what mag has for a grand total of $26,000 so there you have it that's the explanation for the side frame part upgrades hopefully you found it useful I don't know why it took me so long to just come up with the explanation but I mean there you have it final episode just release all information alright when I pay off the debt here alright here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you the beginning thing where you pay off the debt the first time and then afterwards I'm gonna skip to right here and show you what happens this time when you paid off the second time <laughs> all right guys check it out and I'm here to explain some of the things that happen here when you pay off the debt the first time by the way this video is from a user called Brad Rye 2 that's Brad RY2 so check him out on YouTube if you want to see some of his videos and anyway this is just explaining the first debt that you pay off is actually fairly simple you just get an attack booster plus 72 it's actually a much better reward than what you get for the second time you pay it off but unfortunately it doesn't go that smoothly for me in the video you will see as time progresses what I'm talking about I actually get gypped out of some things but anyway you can you can see the scenes depending on which is your second character in your party like whoever your second character is is the person who talks except for Linda because she doesn't have an actual like dialogue thing if she like, like to say if she was the only character in your party Nina just talks to you like how she normally would except these characters just take up a little bit more dialogue just for comedic purposes or just for I don't know just dialogue in general so you can see what the characters have to say about all this Peppers is actually really funny it makes me laugh a lot and ow, ow, ow. sorry just getting off of my seat but Pepper probably my favorite one because it just shows it just shows you how well she can hide her emotions like she was all nice and buddy buddy to us and then <laughs> she thinks of us as worthless yeah <laughs> but I think maybe she's just joking around probably trying to yank this guy's chain a little bit but that's pretty much it that's pretty much the treasure you get in attack boost of 72 pretty worthless because by the time that you get this you probably be getting stuff like attack boost of plus 80 or 90 even there's actually a plus 95 I think somewhere in the no it's a 97 yeah somewhere in the dungeons all right so now that you've seen the first video I'm gonna show you the second video what happens when we pay it off the second time oh what's this I only have one dollar left oh I only owe one dollar okay I'll pay that off oh, I love that music play my music baby congratulations the launcher family death has been completely paid off yes nah 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 <laughs> I love that sound effect. You're 10 space thousand, no 100,000 light years too young for me, so don't get me wrong. Wow, you just like tenfold in incremented that crap. Like, how'd you come up with that number? Yeah, no kidding. You wait till now to give this to me? Okay. Attack boost 72. Wait a minute. So, oh crap. Oh wait, something's not right here. I'm supposed to be getting the attack boost plus... What the heck? Oh no. Oh no. Crap, I think I missed out on something. <laughs> well then. Uh it's not really a big deal. They were just attack boosters pretty much, that's all you get. And some funny scenes. 
with different characters. Like for example, if you go in with uh, what is it, Gray and some other characters, like if you go with Gray, what is it, Gray and Linear, right? Gray and Linear have different. <sighs> Why can't I talk today? All right, there's a there's a little scene for everyone. You saw chains then you can see peppers I see peppers is really really funny Grays is amazing and then there's linears and stuff but I will show that off after maybe I finish explaining all this stuff because I don't want you to miss out on it and I'm not gonna play through this again loaded like multiple times there is actually a person I made these videos online thankfully I could just take that video and put it here of course I'll give him credit Okay, here we are where we pay off the debt the second time with the party. And it's whoever's in the second slot of your party is the one who actually uh, carries the message or whatever. You know, when you pay it off, that person will start speaking and all that. So yeah, I couldn't show this off, honestly, because, well, you know why. Because the game cheated me out. <laughs> and, I mean, well, Linear doesn't have an actual... She doesn't have dialogue per se. But she's just there, in case you want to just have her there. So, if not, Nina just tells you normally what, what you would hear and you know, all that. But there you go, Grace is like crying because he's so proud. And Mag's pretending to be Italian, so blah blah blah. I see what's wrong about something. You don't get the attack boosters. What you get is a prehistoric brooch, which you'll see in a second here. Uh, and he, he, look at this, Nina actually miscalculated the amount of money that you owe, so she took so much money from you. And guess, guess what? She does not give it back. She does not give it back. So you pretty much get swindled for mad money. Who knows how much it is? You could have owed like maybe $5,000. And then she took out like maybe $200,000. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So she might have, you know, overdue us the first time on the on, on the debt. And then the second time with the cost fee. See, this is... <laughs> oh my god. I, I'm just, I, I just get pissed off when I see this every time because you put in all that work for nothing. It, re it literally is not even worth, like the prehistoric brooch, it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. Now, I would show what would happen if you have the other characters, but I'm not going to play through this like three times or whatever, or just another time just to show that off. It's really, really pointless. You can get better weapons than this. You can actually find this in the dungeon multiple times. It's not even worth it, believe me. And you can find better than just what you get with the attack booster plus 72. Don't even worry about it. I'm telling you, these are just worthless treasures. Uh, well, I don't actually remember his name, so I'm going to just put his name right there. I'm going to flash it. And if you want to see more evolution videos, check his out. Check his out? No, check his channel. He's got evolution videos and practically everything else. But they're walkthroughs, you know what I'm saying? They're not really like let's plays. But if you're into walkthroughs, you know, I'd be glad to direct you to his channel. So check that out. And with that, I guess we'll step outside and prepare for departure. <laughs> yeah, well, this pretty much marks the end of the Let's Play. I was thinking about doing a video showing off all the moves. I don't know if anyone wants me to do that. Maybe I showed off pretty much all the moves except for a few. You know, like... No, not a few. There's actually a lot that I'm missing, but I can show them off since I unlocked almost all of them. All right, there's only a few that I don't know. All right, the people that have the most moves are actually just Mag and Chain and Pepper because they have side frames. They have multiple, multiple side frame parts. So they have the most moves in the game. Mag especially. And Linear and What's-His-Face, Gray, don't really have that many moves compared to these three, but... I could always show those off. Again, just let me know if you want me to do that video. I'll probably make a separate video or something. And yeah, I think that's it. That marks the end of this Let's Play. So definitely, guys, it was a blast. And you can hear me, I'm actually quite tired. But it was a blast recording this. And I do not mind recording solely the time if it means making a nice conclusion to a game that you know it's very heartfelt to me at least to me and hopefully this will inspire you to go go and pick this game up not for sales or anything but you know just just for yourself to experience it because there's so much more that i didn't show 
in the ruins you know like there's so much I can't really explain to you every visit to the ruin is different like the ruins just are so so vast and different and they feature so many different designs I, I really can't explain it I, I keep saying different but it's like you have to see it for yourself in order to understand just how different it is but maybe I'll save that for another time Thank you for watching everyone, it's been a blast and I'll see you in the second game sometime in the future, but not now, I need a break from all this, you know, monster grinding and all that, so I'll see you all later, and Mag and his friends will as well, peace out guys, and keep it styling.